it's time. Week 9, UMPL Academy, Blueberry Division. It is do or die. We got to get our shit together. We got to make it in the playoffs. If we lose this, we're out. So it has to happen. And we're up against the LA Infernapes. Sosa being the team captain. Uh, scary roster. Um, I feel like we have a decent chance into this team, though, especially with Reggie Ice. But I'll, I'll go through that later. Uh, going through his roster, he's got Trapagos, Garchomp. He's got Necrozma, Iron Jugulus, Skarmory, Dashbund, Dust Noir, regular Quillfish, and Alolan Persian. And his three Terra Captains being Jolteon, Jolteon being Terra Electric, Ice Flying, Terra Typhlosion with Fire, Grass, and Fairy, and Appleton with Dragon, Steel, and Fire. Now, I feel like we have a decent matchup into this team, especially with Reg Ice, uh, which we'll start off with first, being our team captain. Assault Fest, uh, Clear Body, so we won't have any stat drops. Uh, Terra Electric, which uh, helps against, uh, helps hit harder against like the Skarmory and the Iron Jugulus, and it allows us to eat up um, eruptions uh, from Typhlosion if he's Terra, because Typhlosion's from Terra, especially if he's Scarf or Choice Specs, it's going to do a lot of damage. And we're rocking Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, Flash Cannon, and Icy Wind. Ice Beam, again for Stab, fantastic against Flying type. Jolteon and Grass type Typhlosion. It's decent. It's awesome against Garchomp too. So hopefully we can like leave an Earthquake, fire off with that. T Bolt uh, helps with Stab, of course, with Terra Electric, Flash Cannon to hit uh, any of his Terra Fairies if he decides to do that, and also uh, Icy Wind uh, just for extra Stab and also to lower his speed as well. So if someone comes in like Jolteon or Necrozma or let's say um, Iron Jugulus, and they start setting up with like a Tailwind or a Dragon Dance, for example, then we could lower their speed. Um, max Special Attack, Max HP, just bulky in that sense. Uh, AV helps our Special Defense. We actually wall Typhlosion and Jolteon very well, as, as well as, um, in this sense, Iron Jugulus too. So that'll be very nice. Uh, Trapagos has a chance to Calm Mind, so we can wall that pretty nicely if it does still decide to set up. Like, originally I was thinking maybe, maybe Terra Fighting, but we lose against Necroz or uh, Necrozma too much and Hurricane or Air Slash or Jugulus, so Terra Electric is just better for that. We just can't take an Earthquake from Garchomp. If that's the case, if we're up against Garchomp, I'd rather stay Ice for the time being. Next up, we got Roddy Piper to Swampert, uh, Leftovers, Torrent, the Earthquake, Ice Punch, Knockoff, and Stealth Rocks. Um, originally this was Choice Banded, and that was just to be a lot more aggressive, and I had Flip Turn instead of Stealth Rocks, but then through some talking with some homies, they're like, hey, if you want to possibly Oko some of these Mons, Stealth Rocks would be nice to have up as well, and I decided like, yeah, you know, that's probably the safe choice. Leftovers to get some HP back. Earthquake hits hard. Ice Punch is amazing. Knockoff gets rid of items. I mean, Earthquake just hits... Regular Typhlosion, awesome. It's uh, Terra Steel Appleton. It's Quillfish. Uh, even though Quillfish will most likely have Intimidate, we'll still be able to hit him a couple times, which is good. Ice Punch completely gets rid of Garchomp, which is great, and Terra Flying Jolteon, because uh, Terra Jolteon will honestly not really hit us at all. Earthquake is, I mean, a knockoff, I should say, hits Necrozma super hard, which is great, because any item we have on him, I'd rather get rid of, because honestly, that mod does a whole lot. Uh, it's it's hard to prep for it because it could run especially and physically it's got set up for both and Photon Geyser is a killer move. 144 speed, not a speed creep, non-invested Skarmory. I actually have a little more speed EVs that I uh, initially thought in there so uh, I think it might be speed creep something else maybe if it's a plus one or if it's a slower mon, can't remember but the rest is going to HP and do attack. Next up we got it's the Galvantula, heavy duty boots, compound eyes, Thunder, Bug Buzz, Volt Switch, and Sticky Webs. Uh, normally we run Focus Sash, but I find that Heavy Duty Boots is actually very good because in a lot of matchups where we go up against Stealth Rocks and Spikes, our Focus Sash is broken immediately, and then it's just like that item's basically useless. Uh, Thunder with Compound Eyes is going to hit basically 90% of the time, even more, hopefully like 99. Bug Buzz hits um, the Crosma very well for Stab as well, so that's awesome to have. Volt Switch just for momentum if uh, he switches out. And then uh, I can set up a Volt Switch and we get momentum for that. Because if we if you just switch out uh, straight off, uh, the opponent's going to switch out first before I do an attack. And Sticky Webs to lower the speed. Like I said, for Jolteon or for Choice Scarf Typhlosion is nice. And also uh, for Garchomp too if he sets up with D-Dance. Uh, max speed. And that is to use a Speed Creep. Uh, not Speed Tie. Actually Speed Tie's uh, uh, Timid Max Speed Iron Jugulus. 
it's not affected by sticky webs either so we'll set up for 50 50s most likely it's going to switch out in those situations though because we're just going to hit it with a thunder and kill it and then uh we're timid as well for nature and then we're 252 in special attack next up we got switchblade iron valiant now i needed to consult with the <laughs> with the iron valiant god aka my boy stego because i don't know how to use the, this, this thing uh i'm i'm pretty brain dead when it comes to using valiant unfortunately because this mon is op and i'm too small brain uh life orb boost up its damage of course and close combat moon blast thunderbolt and agility agility to boost up its speed because we're not booster and we're not choice scarf we we're actually looking at all those items previously but we are on 192 uh naive nature and that also yeah we speed creep timid max speed iron jug which is fantastic because we'll kill it off with a moon blast and uh we're running mixed because uh life orb with close combat and the other two special moves are just going to make them super powerful it's just better than using um spirit break or or sphere by that time so we have 252 in special attack just to boost up our moon blast and thunderbolt and then 64 into close combat yeah uh, this thing's gonna hit like a truck hopefully we use this thing as uh, not really revenge killer but we can set up late game or mid game where we can respectfully get agility off and then get a kill after uh hopefully not get burned by something like typhlosion or dusknar hopefully we can avoid that or being paralyzed by like jolteon for example um we just want to get this thing to have a couple kills and have to hopefully have a good differential by the end of the game Next up, we got Triple H, or King Gambit, Black Glass, the Supreme Overlord, Iron Head, Sucker Punch, Katao Cleave, and Sword Stance. I think this is the last set we used. Unfortunately, we got confused last time, which cost us the game. Hopefully, that's not the case for today. I totally forgot that uh, some Pokemon have these new moves uh, from all the DLC updates, and it just, like, there's so much happening all at once. But this mod is pretty straightforward. I mean, hit hard, play hard. That's, <laughs> that's literally what I wrote down for the notes. Black Glass is um, completely upgrades soccer punch and cut out cleave to do a lot more supreme overlord uh helps in helps if i bring uh king gamut in later when more my pokemon has fainted boost that attack up which is very nicely and speak about attack we're adamant nature 252 and hp 252 attack just to hit hard anything can't really take a hit too many hits against this one only thing i think of is, is dash bund and uh alolan persian and then i guess Quillfish can come in and intimidate, but otherwise, if we're boosted up, then we're going to be doing a lot of damage to anything, which is very nice. Uh, hopefully, we get rid of the Necrozma with this, uh, with a nice sucker, but that move is just like a 50-50 matchup overall. Uh, either they do a move or they're not, so we just got to play carefully with that. And last but not least, we got JBL or Weezing Galar with Black Sludge, Levitate, Strange Team, Flamethrower, Clear Smog, and Defog. We're running specially defensive this time because it helps against that Typhlosion, Jolteon, Iron Juggalus, uh, for example. Strange team. I mean, we finally got our first confusion last game out of the like hundred times we've used this move by now. <laughs> Shit's twenty percent. I say it's twenty percent every single time, but I we've actually missed it more than we've got the confusion, and missing is only a five percent chance. So just shows our luck with this move. Flamethrower helps hit um, Skarmory a lot harder. I was thinking Thunderbolts, but we we have Thunderbolt on like or like we have three electric moves on, let's say Stone Cold sting and switchblade so by that time having a fourth one is a little redundant flamethrower also hits uh terra grass typhlosion which is nice so something we could wall a little bit and also terra steel apple ton which is nice to have clear smog originally i had sludge wave over but i decided to switch it just in case if something wants to set up like the garchomp because we can completely wall it so got levitate so we can't be hit by earthquake and spikes and get rid of its stat changes something like terrapagos too and realistically, I would say Necrozma, but we're not saying against Necrozma. That mon is just too good against us. Black Sludge get a bit of uh, HP back and Defog to get rid of Hazards because he has a lot of Stealth Rocks users as well. Uh, he has uh, and Spikes users as long as um, Sue and Quillfish also gets Toxic Spikes, I'm fairly sure. So unfortunately, it will get rid of our um, Rocks and Sticky Webs if that's the case. But if we're finding we're being hindered by a lot of hazards, then so be it. We'll defog and get everything out because I do not want to take all that residual damage, especially since um, the only heavy duty, boots, heavy duty boots user I have is Galvantula. I just don't want to be taking so much residual damage over time. I've lost the games because of that, and I don't want to lose to this game, especially because this is super important. Now, we got to win this game. Uh, I've had a lot of support from the homies. Shout out to my boy Stego, Banana, and uh, Nuglo from me. And with these, and also uh, Nova Explator, he's a homie too, uh, because some a lot of these guys are making into uh, playoffs, and I'm not uh, potentially. So <laughs> they're all help, helping uh, your boy out. So I appreciate tons. Uh, let's fucking win this game, baby. 
Uh, Tour Cats, we got to get this W, got to get this win. Week 9. Hopefully you guys enjoy this battle. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support. If I don't make it in the playoffs, then I, I, I'm happy with uh, being in this league. And because of being in this league, I have rose to um, be in other leagues, which is really, really nice. Like uh, UMPLD league I'm doing. And also I've gone to BBRD league, which is a huge stepping stone for me. And I'll be trying super hard in those other leagues. But thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the battle and stay tuned. Okay, here it is. This is it. Week nine, the MPL Academy. This is uh, this decides if we get into playoffs or not. We're up against Sosa, the LA Infernapes. He has been found. Let's write down the team. Uh, we'll get Calx at two at the same time. We see Typhlosion. So that will most likely be the Terra Captain, if not Apple. So he's got a couple different leads. A couple different leads. Who knows Stealth Rocks here? Garchomp knows Stealth Rocks. I've been told that he likes to do defensive Garchomp. Also has options for spikes as well. <sighs> Garchomp comes in, we have JBL. JBL is actually not a bad lead for everybody, except if the Quillfish comes in, then it gets a little difficult. We do we do see two Terra Captains. I thought the Jolteon would come in at least, but he might have realized that I've got too many good counters for that. The good thing is we got Regice for Typhlosion which is fantastic. Honestly, I thought he'd be bringing a lot more people, such as Iron Jugulus and Skarmory and Necrozma. Those were three mods. Well, I guess less Jugulus, but more Necrozma I was worried for, and I don't see that, which is kind of baffling. Um... So we'll see what this goes. Hello! That's down with the Garchomp. Fantastic start. My fellow Americans! Garchomp. Okay, Strange Steam does 50%. I see no reason not to go for it. Should play that a little more aggressively. That was dumb by me. Sakura. Okay. If we can get a confusion, that'd be fantastic. Please, 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 please. That's what, Black Sludge? If I go Swampert, Waterfall does 22 to 26 to me. I don't want to go Triple H just yet. So I might I might just go, because I can't really I can't really do anything with the uh, things to Swampert. Honestly, it has to be my solution. I'm so nervous and shaking. Oh. Oh. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Taunt. Excellent. Why would why would you think I stay in? Maybe Willow? I can't see him staying in. His okay, now I got I gotta play this more aggressively. I'm very bad at playing aggressively. I need to play a little more aggressively. I could go for Earthquake. If I go over for Earthquake, nothing actually takes it. Besides maybe Appleton. I kind of want to knock off, honestly. He stays in. So he must have not a lot of speed investment on that thing. Because I outspeed it. That thing is slow. Very, very slow, actually. So I must have, like, almost no speed investment into it. But at least I got... Black Sludge. I could have just Earthquake there. It would have done a whole lot. I thought he'd be faster. Tsunade. Good He's got Thick Fat. Uh, Apple Ton. His Ice Punch does not kill. I'm gonna go JVL. Especially if he, uh, hit Terra here. He also could have Body Press. special, then I eat it up. They see it. I was thinking he would actually eat it. That's not bad, because I'm just going to... I think I'm just going to get that back from... I'm just going to strange team again. Because if, if I get a confusion on something, it's awesome. Confusion. confusion. The good thing is, he's not really affecting these intimidates either. 
Come on, Confuse. 20%. Come on. Fuck, really? Not. Okay, worst case scenario, what happens? Goldfish. I think this thing gets poison jab. I know he's got taunt. I think he has poison jab. It's, uh. It honestly does not do too much. I might even benefit from going in front of this strange team here. Get spikes in. That's okay. I have defog, but he doesn't know that. He should be awesome. Great. Oh my god. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep letting this happen, honestly. Cause he can get as much spikes as he want up. I'm just gonna defog it. Nothing he can really do to me. I don't think he's got poison jab. So what, flip turn, spikes, taunt. That's all we know for so far. Look at this, <laughs> this little cross-eyed fuck here. <laughs> he's so fucking dumb, bro. Our garage. Eat it up. Confusion, come on. Come on, it's 20%. It's 20%, bro. I never get the bar barrage. What the hell is this? He's gonna try to wear me down now. Okay, what do I need Weezing for? Weezing is good for Appleton. I'm okay to do this again. So we know it's whole move set and it has no item. Leech Seed is still up. Anything that comes in could possibly get confused here, which would be awesome. You can see that this wheezing is a problem. Thing is, he's got a layer of spikes up. I should write that down. Do I have Defog? If I bring Galvantula in, I got Heavy Duty Boots. Hiya! Can I finally get a confusion, please? Please? Oh my god. <sighs> okay. So this is probably the chair. I floated. I cannot take I cannot take an eruption. I know that. It could be Terra Grass. God, do I wanna let Weezing go now? Because I don't wanna I don't wanna switch into um Bredge Ice if he goes in on a on an eruption. I'm just gonna play what it looks like if I do. That's doing way too much and I don't want that. I don't know if he's scarped yet either. I think I have to drop Weezing. He's gonna go for Defog. Obamna! Okay. He hasn't teared yet either. But this gives us a clean switch in. Just don't. Oops. This spikes damage. Electric here. Or right, Thunderbolts. Probably deciding he could go. The smart move for him will go to Guard Chomp. I would have to see if I love an earthquake though, because I don't know. I am max HP. He does switch. Duskmire. Maybe. Good skill. He's pulling his cock out! Alright. This thing is no a lot. It's an earthquake. It does get earthquake. Poltergeist as well. Better as much as it says, it's got left. King Gambit's actually not a bad choice. I don't think he's gonna go for Willow. It wouldn't make sense. Put it down. Psych! Oh, he does go for Willow. What a fucking call. <coughs> wow. That's insane. Sucks. Um, I still two hit kill with Katow. 
But honestly, I'm just gonna sword stance. That sucks. That really sucks. I didn't think he'd make the call for that. I don't think he's gonna go for Willow. That was a fantastic play from him. Okay, six switches. Everyone, get in here! One allies fainted. Third chomp. He doesn't actually kill me. If he's uh, if he's defensive, he doesn't kill me with earthquake. It's actually a roll to kill. I'm gonna go uh tell cleave here. So he go <gasps> oh my god, I died a burn. Okay. That sucks. Okay. He took... Um, he definitely is a little defensive. Galvantia is not going to do a whole lot, isn't it? Bug Buzz actually does quite a bit. But he for sure kills me with her. I have to go Val. Hello there! Okay. I can't see him staying in against me. It wouldn't make sense. So I for sure kill him, which makes me want to go for an agility now. Let me just see my options here. Hold on. Yeah, he can't kill me. Unless he's got poison jab, maybe. No, poison jab. I'm going to go for the agility. Okay. This is where we set up. Okay, you can burn me. Either I hope Willow miss, or I don't know. I'm in a really tough position. Good with you. Hello. Goes a guard trump. I can't hold switch. Of course, he's got pain split and left hands. That's base. We do. Nice. Okay, that's okay. Now maybe we just go for Para. He switches, that's a good call on him. God, we're really not in a great position. I didn't think he'd do Willow on the on the switch there. Can we get a paralyzed please? That'd be great. Oh god. He missed. Nope. He missed. God, really? Man. That was a great call from him. I'm doing flat. Swamp hurt. He could probably go to Goldfish here. I just want to go for the knock just in case. So I guess now that would take care of you. That's okay. It's already slow as hell. Okay. I mean, Apple Acid just straight up kills me. Listening to you. I mean, Spike sucks. Damn. Oh, Jesus, I did a lot. But we kill with the moon blast. I only have such a limited time with Val now. Such a limited time. I probably shouldn't have sacked Weezing that early, too. But that god, that, that, 
That Willow call was so good. I don't think he's gonna go for Willow. <sighs> that really sucks. If he would have gone through anything else, King Gambit would have actually gone a lot of kills. Okay, who's taking this? He must think I'm physical. That's not the case. Okay, we gotta kill. Bye bye! Okay. And we're life orb, which sucks because. Mm, damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Sage of Six. I mean, I, I I have to do something with this thing. What? Oh, oh my god, I forgot what this, what this thing does. Dude, this thing is... I, I have no idea what this thing does, man. Speed! <laughs> <laughs> this is fuck. This fucking sucks. <laughs> so stupid. That burn. That burn, man. I'm. I mean, I just lose. I just. I don't know what to do. Like, what? What the fuck does that ability even do? Hold on. I need to see this. Terra shell. The connects power of each type. All damaging dealing moves that hit the Pokemon when it's full HP is not very effective. Oh wow. What a good move that is. Hmm. At this point, we're just gonna go for EQs, I guess. Tsunade, this thing's gonna die. Actually, no, it's gonna die. It's like nothing. Swampert would be great for Garchomp. I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I just need to Ice Punch. Freeze? No. Fall. Wow, that burn sucks. Uh, honestly, as soon as I got that burn, it's been downhill. It's been downhill since. I don't think he's gonna go for Willow. Very disappointed. Very, very disappointed in this game. It's not even close as well, which like sucks. It just means we're not making it we're not making the playoffs, which stinks. Um <laughs> Is what it is. Overall, out of all the drafts I've done, this um I definitely used this roster the worst. Like I I feel like it didn't have a lot of uh um a lot of balance between each other. Also, I, I I didn't hit fucking I hit every single strange team. I think it was like what four or five of them, and I and I didn't get confusion. If I had five of them, it almost like a guarantee chance I get, but not a guarantee. But come on, like what's the chance that I don't hit confusion if it's twenty percent? Twenty times five is hundred. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I think kills me with poltergeist. Unless it misses, that'd be great. Game split. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, fantastic. I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> this fucking sucks. <laughs> this game fucking sucks. Burn sucks. Not getting fucking confusion sucks. Like, come on. I, I, like, at this point, I'm just frustrated. And, you know, like, and I mean, my opponent played super well. Like, he, like, the team he brought for this was fantastic. Um, he played super well. Played super well. And I'm not even gonna be able to kill this thing. It's just, it's just five, it's five one. Let's start 5 0. And making sure the cookie crumbles. I would forfeit, but you know what? You gotta be a man about it. Unless I get a magic freeze, that'd be great. Oh, wow. Okay, well, GG. It's what it is. Uh, it sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty upset about that, if I'm being honest. I think I got, uh. I got fucked over. That Willowis. I mean, also, the Willowis hit too. That was a fantastic play from him. 
I could I should have just stayed in, but he played more aggressively than I did. Fantastic play. Good job. Good job, Sosa. Uh, I think you make it in, or if you don't, then uh, oh well. But I'm pretty sure you made it in from this, so hopefully you get gas and playoffs. And uh, that's our uh, that's our UMPL Academy uh, league there. Uh, we did awful. <laughs> I'm not I'm not uh, not happy with how we did it all. Uh, this is another stepping stone for sure to do uh, other different leagues, but definitely like throughout a few weeks into it, I was not. I was. I felt this the team was not the team was balanced but it just did not really work together like i had fantastic mods i had mods like valiant of course and swampert and heatran and whatever and on and on and on but i really struggled with hazard at the beginning because i didn't have a rapid spinner and then once i got one i only took i didn't really take advantage of it and then val i fucking i shit the bed literally with valiant like i, I played him awful this whole season it's like waste of a I should waste of a pick i should have picked something i was more comfortable with but I'll probably do like a whole video on one on my thoughts after this. But you know what? It is. What are we now? Let me see. Let me see the record we're at. We're fucking what three and six now, which is dog shit. <laughs> it's it's pretty garbage. But you know what? That's how it is. You know, you win some, you lose some. Like uh, at least before this, I won. I won a draft league, and this one, I'm not even making it to playoffs. So you know, like you win some, you lose some. You can't expect to do well every single time, and I'm not. Expe I'm not expecting to go into every single league knowing or hoping that i'm gonna win it's just how it is just people are gonna be better than you is people are gonna be worse than you that goes with any competitive format if you're a smash player you know how it feels so do i feel bad that i did awful yes it sucks and but you know what you just get over it you move on you keep playing different games uh for those leagues and you do research and you just keep getting better and that's how it is so gg sosa good uh good luck to the la inferno if you're making the playoffs thank you guys for watching uh, and for watching the journey of the UMPL Academy. Fortunately, Tora Cats did not do super great. Uh, definitely not impressed with how I did, but hopefully with these other leagues that we got going up, like the D leagues. And uh, I know we got another league coming up, uh, Wi Fi League and BBL, I think. Uh, Nova Bladers um, League is happening in April, and that's Wi Fi. Otherwise, I think that's the only Wi Fi League I'll be doing for the next while. Otherwise, it's just showdown leagues. But uh, hopefully, you guys keep watching. Thank you for all the support. And all the homies who helped me out for all the battles and just etc. You guys are awesome. And let's uh, keep moving forward. Keep our heads held high. And let's just keep pumping out this content that we enjoy. So thank you guys for watching. Oski Wee Wee, Oski Wawa, Holy Makana, Torcats, Eat Em Raw. Thank you so much.